The All Progressive Congress APC governors have appealed to President Muhammad Ubari to allow both the old and new Naira notes to coexist to ease the suffering of Nigerians. Nasa Erufai, governor of Kaduna State, said the request was made to the president when the APC governors met with him on Friday. Erufai was flanked by Abdullahi Ganduje, Kano State governor, while briefing journalists on the outcome of the meeting at the state house. He said, although the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, mopped up over 2 trillion naira of the old notes in circulation, only 300 billion naira worth of new notes were printed. The governor said, if the CBN intends to implement the cashless policy, the APS Bank should have printed at least half of what was mopped up. He said the governor told the president that the masses are suffering and traders are losing their goods due to a lack of patronage. Erufai said they appeal to Buhari to reconsider his stance. The cardinal governor, however, said the president did not decline or approve the request. He said Atiku Bagudu, Kebi State Governor and Chairman of the Progressive Governors Forum, is meeting with the president, president privately in a bid to convince him to shift ground on the matter you see how wicked these people are see they are trying to turn everything that oh it is the masses that are suffering all this why the masses have been crying about a uh, how things are expensive in the market people cannot get job unemployment is over is 33 percent officially that the one we know is going to be more than that inflation is something you cannot even talk of but the official um percentage is you know, it's even crazy. But if you want to go, if they really want to say the truth, you know that it's even more than that. Nigerians have been crying. I've never seen these APC governors or all the governors, whether in PDP or whatever, coming together to say, oh, our children have stayed home for more than how many months? What is happening? Did they, did they care? They didn't care. Nigerians are crying of, of, of insecurity. They didn't care because they have a security details. Now, you not think that they are talking on behalf of Nigerians. They should be talking about themselves because you cannot be fighting for Nigeria now because it is election time. No. We know the reason why you are saying that, that uh, they should allow the old notes and the new notes to work side by side. If there's anything that the CBN governor is doing, you should blame Buhari for that because there's nothing he's going to be doing. You think uh, there's anything he's doing without uh, the knowledge of uh, the president? I think uh, maybe after the begging and persuasion, on Friday, that was when they see maybe they told him to please oh, come and help us project uh, Tinumbu. How can somebody who has been going, at least in, I mean, in just few occasions that he's been campaigning for Tinumbu, he never said campaign for Tinumbu or vote for Tinumbu, where uh, he, he only told Nigerians vote for, vote wisely, vote for the right candidate, vote for the this and that. Who does that? And Erufai was telling us that hey, he has the right to do that, but in as much he was able to raise Tinumbu's hand in some of the campaign they went together, that hey, is enough. Don't mind them, they are just trying to cover up. So you could see that hey, as soon as they met on Friday, the next thing, the Nasarawa campaign, he was there, vote Tinumbu this and that. And Tinumbu is not bragging. Can you see? We don't have any uh, rancor. We are very, very free. We are working together. Everything is this. Everything is fine. Everything is work. No, forget all those uh, enemy of progress. They don't want so they think that we are going to forget. Now, see, eh, a job open for, for, for outside. The whole world is seeing it. And in fact, they, 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 they're just deceiving themselves. And I don't even understand. I don't even know what it takes. Just do even just the little the basics the basics just do it for Nigerians so that Nigerians they will even forget whatever you are doing because these politicians do not have sense. I may put to say it, they don't get sense. All these uh, developed countries that you are saying, you think uh, they are clean? Do you think they are not say uh, as smarting or they are not uh, uh, in one way or the other? You know, defrauding the people. You think they are not that? Uh, you think they are sense? But our own, uh, their own is just. Their, their lawlessness, their corruption is just in a crude manner. We will continue to say it. Oh, all those countries that uh, you talk about, you think uh, they, are, they are saints. They are not saints. But they will just be wondering, how can all these uh, African politicians, they will even steal to the level that everybody will see it. But they will see, they will not use uh, the power of the government to suppress the people. That's what they do. 
when you just do the little things, those basics thing, basic things for the people, they will forget about it. You collect money from them as in the way of taxes. Now they will not be telling you that Nigerians are not paying taxes because you are not there's there's no system in place. If there's a system in place and you are collecting or find whatever you want to call it taxes and you are doing it and the people are seeing what you are doing with it. Who, who, who told you that they will not say uh, they will not cooperate? But you don't do nothing. Even the few ones that are being collected, what do they do with them? They filter them away. It will go into some few individuals. The next thing is just to go outside the country and go and be borrowing money. Even the money, 70% of the money, they will share them among themselves. The money will not be enough because you see that uh, most of the projects they engage uh, they engage on or they engage with, they are substandard. Uh, what is it called? Projects. You know this time, time, it will stand, it will not stand the test of time. So all of them, they went to go and meet Buhari to go and beg him. Uh, this and that. Uh, let's hold notes. You are not fighting for the masses. It's a lie. You are not fighting for the masses. Things are expensive on a daily basis. The, 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 the rates between, exchange rates between the official rates and the black market, you are not even doing anything to bump it together. This issue of a uh, fuel scarcity has been going on for God knows when. You did not come out to say anything because of this money, because there is affiliation, there is correlation between the election that is coming up and with that money, this uh, redesigning of Naira is affecting you. And you are not telling us a uh, uh, market to make another this. The people who are, are, what do they call them? Who are paying, the farmers who are paying money to go to farms. That things are so expensive. Pay money to the bandits. Have you ever seen any of these people saying anything? They will say nothing. Now. Coming to tell us that uh, you are doing it for the masses. It's a lie. It's a lie. No, Buhari did not even tell them whether he approved it or not. The only thing he just went out yesterday to Nasara to go and say, hey, oh, let me just uh, help you. Uh, Tinumbu, mm -hmm. eh, we couldn't vote for her. Of course, as if Nigerians are not aware of most of the things they are doing. So guys, let's say your opinion on our take on this.